Hello everybody, my name is Dan and what I want to show you is how to do one hot encoding in Python. Okay, let's take a look at this dataset. This dataset is the FARS dataset. It's a dataset about uh, car accidents in the United States in the year 2001. And as you can see, most of this dataset is categorical. It's text data. And if you want to feed this data into a popular machine learning algorithm like XGBoost, uh, it's not compatible. You need to transform it in some way in order to make it uh, compatible with XGBoost. So I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to do it in Python. And as you can see, we are not going to need many packages to do so. Only NumPy, Pandas and sklearn is optional. I will tell you when it's relevant. We're going to load the dataset onto our uh, workspace and you can see it here some columns are categorical some are numeric but most of the data here is categorical and we have to address it in order to make it compatible with a machine learning algorithm so let's take a look at how a column in this data set looks like so related factor is something like a, like, com like, like a comment for special circumstances in a car accident and so you, for most of the car accidents they didn't write anything but for some they wrote, wrote special circumstances like it was uh, no visibility, failure to yield right of way and uh, you may think maybe because most of the time they didn't write anything maybe just drop the column uh, it's a it's a reasonable uh, it's a reasonable thing to say but when I was playing with, with this data set and I wanted to see what happens if they do comment. For instance, in this, uh, uh, I made this cell here, so you can see that if someone did something that was worth mentioning, um, you can see the injury severity for such a person, which will be mostly fatal injury. Okay, so maybe the comments are rare, but. Um, if they did comment something enough time, it most probably mean it, it was a fatal injury. And the first thing that was here, darting or stumbling. Also, as you can see, mostly fatal injuries. So I think these comments have very strong information that the machine can learn and it's a waste to throw it away. Okay, so we do want to keep this column. So how do we handle it? One of the best way to do so is by one-hot uh, encoding. And I will show you a quick example if you don't know what one-hot encoding means. Uh, I'm gonna extract the person type column from this data set. And as you can see, in this data set, the person type is like the position of the person in the car accident. Was he a driver, passenger, bicyclist? Okay, so what will happen if we will do one-hot encoding on this column? It's very easy to do so uh, with the Python lib uh, with the pandas library in Python. You just call the pandas by, by pd, get dummies, and then select the data that you want to one hot encode. So if we will one hot encode this column, what will happen? As you can see, instead of the person type column, we got new columns that each column is a unique value that was inside the person type column. And if the original row said driver, we will now have one in the place of driver. If the original row said uh, passenger, we will now have one in the place of uh, passenger and zero for everything else. So this is one hot encoding. But you may have noticed that this can cause some problems because let's look at the shape of this thing. We had one column, now we have 10 columns. Now if, if we come back to this special comment column here, let's see how many, how many columns will be generated if we will do one hot encoding on them. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Ta -ta -ta. Yikes, that's... that's a lot of special values that was that is going to be a lot of columns and it's not just the problem of many columns if we are going to 
look at uh, following him properly, we only have one instance of it from 67,000 examples. So what will happen when we, when we will one hot encode it? There will be generated a new column which will have only one in one place and the rest will be zeros. And this will be true for vision obscured and head restraints and passing on one side. And so how can we one hot encode this kind of column but still preserve the information that we saw is important? So a way to do it is thresholding. Thresholding is a way to set a minimum amount of occurrences that you allow for a special category. So you can choose it in a certain number of ways. I chose that if something appears 1.5% times of the overall dataset size, I will keep it. And if not, I will just label it rare. Okay? This becomes a hyperparameter for the for the problem. Setting it for less will make it less for uh, more forgiving. Setting it for more will make it more uh, strict about the occurrences, and this can uh, affect the performance of the model. And you you need to play with it. You need to tune it. Specifically for this data set, 1.5 accounts for 336, and I think it's a reasonable number. Uh, for this data set. So how we are going to apply this threshold and it's also very elegant in pandas, take a look. What I want to do is I want to apply the threshold only for uh, columns that are data types of objects that have text uh, data types not numeric because that will cause a problem. So there is a way to do it in pandas using the select data types you choose object columns and now you will get a list only of the columns names that have text data in them. I remove the injury severity column because this is the target column. This is what we're trying to predict. We don't want to one hot encode it. I will tell you what we're going to do with it. And then we apply the mask to change everything that is below the threshold to rare. And this line of code is quite of long. Feel free to pause the video to understand what was done here, but it's not that complicated. Okay, so let's launch this cell and go back to that problematic column that we had. And let's take a look at it. Ah, this is much more readable now. Uh, we see that all the little special cases amounted to a thousand rare cases. Now it's something of more substantially uh, frequent. And the special comments that we saw led to fatal injuries are still here. We didn't lose them. But now we're gonna have only five columns generated from doing one hot encoding on this column and not. 2025 columns. So we have reduced the dimension substantially. Okay, so after we, we have done it, we can go ahead and do the one hot encoding on all the dataset. So also take note that if you want to do uh, one hot encoding, you only have to do it on the uh, text data on the columns that have text data. So the way to do it, it's also very clean and neat in pandas. You still use the get dummies uh, command. You choose the dataset that you want to encode, but you can specify the columns in a list. Now, because I already made a column, a list of the object columns, it is very nice and easy to apply it only on them. So let's apply it. And now we can see that everything right now is separated to different columns with ones in the place of where they occurred and zeros elsewhere. So the one hot encoding worked. And now when everything is a column vector with ones and zeros, you can perform some uh, vector operations on the columns. If you want to merge them, if you want to merge some data, and I'm not going to go into the depth of this, but just know that 
when you have it and you want to merge some information here, you can do it just by adding those column into a new. And this is what I did here for this uh, problem, but uh, you don't have to do it. Now, the last thing that we need to do in this problem is encode the, the target column. We one hot encoded the training data, the features, and we also need to encode uh, the classes. We can't, we can't keep them as no injury, fatal injury. We, have all, we also need to code them. So I'm going to separate the X, the training set from the target column. And then there are two ways to do it. You can use the sklearn library. This is why I imported it earlier. And there is something called a label encoder. Label encoder will just go through the column and when it meets a unique value, it will assign it on integer. And then when it, in when it will meet a new distinct uh, category, it will assign a new integer. So it's kind of random, random assigning. And this works here, as you can see, uh, this is the way he assigned it. I include this uh, line of code here to make a dictionary so it will be easy to track what the encoder did if we want to go back. But if the number of classes is not very big, um, you may want to do it by yourself and not let the encoder do it for you. So for instance, I made here on encoding that has some uh, intuition about the degree of severity. So zero is um, no the least serious, least severe, and four is the most severe. So it kind of keeps the intuition when you're looking at the numbers. And that is the other way to do it. Okay, so that's about it. So we saw how to do one hot encoding in order to handle categorical data. The main thing you should consider when doing what one hot encoding is approximating the dimensions increase when you're going to do it. Uh, a very efficient way to counter it is by setting a threshold for unique values in a column and that becomes a hyperparameter uh, in your uh, model and you have to tune it like, like the rest of the hyperparameters. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new for it and you are going to be able to apply it for yourself in your machine learning projects. Thank you.